The Bugaloos. That's right. I'm reviewing the Bugaloos. Okay, you may be asking why in the world am I reviewing the Bugaloos of all things? I mean, how many people today even know what the Bugaloos are? Well, that's the purpose behind my flashback reviews. To bring a sense of nostalgia, or flashback moments as I like to call them, to classic TV and movies, and to show new people the things that made our childhoods so unique and special. So, what are the Bugaloos? The Bugaloos was one of the creations from the brothers Sidney and Marty Croft. Some of the other shows you may have heard of include H.R. Puffin Stuff. H.R. Puffin Stuff, who's your friend when things get bad? H.R. Puffin Stuff, can't do a little but you can't do enough. Sigmund Sea Monster. Talking about friends, 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 knocking at your door, friends, friends, friends. And probably the more popular Land of the Lost series. The Land of the Lost. Each of these shows will either appear by itself or in a one hour segment called the Croft Super Show or Croft Superstars. However, if I recall correctly, you never knew which show was going to air. So here I am waiting for the next episode of The Land of the Lost or maybe The Lost Saucer because how can, how can you not like a show that has Jim Neighbors playing an android? But instead, what do I get? I get the freaking Bugaloos. The Bugaloos? Now don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that this was a bad show, far from it. Just not one of my favorites. So why did I watch it? Good morning! Easy. Yeah, what little boy didn't have a crush on the butterfly girl Joy, played by Caroline Ellis? The other insect themed teams were Wayne Laurier as Harmony, John McIndoe as IQ, and John Philpott as Courage. Courage. They form a band calling themselves the Bugaloos, living in a place known as Tranquility Forest. There was also Sparky the Firefly, played by Billy Barty, who also plays Sigmund the Sea Monster. So what's the storyline of this show? Well, let's take a look at the first episode. It starts off when Sparky the Firefly was walking down the road when he's involved in a hit and run. The car that hit him is owned by Benita Bazaar, played by Martha Ray. Benita Bazaar dreams of being the best singer in the world, despite the fact she's actually the worst. Put on your supersonic sneakers cause you're going to the party with me, babe. <laughs> She's accompanied by her henchmen, two anthropomorphic speakers known as Woofer and Tweeter, and a giant rat with a German accent for a chauffeur named Funky Rat. As Benita is looking for backup singers for her next record, she overhears the Bugaloo singing as they are nursing Sparky back to health after they rescue them. Now, Sparky has issues. Now, he's the only firefly that can't fly, is afraid of the dark, and lacks confidence in himself. Man. You've got more hang-ups than a clothes closet. I'm just a born loser. Benita arrives and tries to get the Bugaloos to join her, but they turn her down. So she zaps and kidnaps the Bugaloos and threatens to harm Joy if they do not perform with her. But with Sparky using his best asset, they short out Benita's plans and manage to escape. I'll save you, my leader! 
stereo outfits. You just can't get the bugs out of them. <laughs> the episodes that follow feature Benita pursuing the bugaloos for her own selfish desires, such as switching her voice for Joy's, or trying to steal the wings of the bugaloos so she can fly. The series ran for only one season, but 17 episodes in all, which is available on DVD. A second season, and even a movie through Columbia Pictures was in the works, but due to a miscommunication between the Crofts and the actors, it fell through. However, I do have a trailer for the Bugaboos movie. Let's take a look. It could be an awesome movie. Hey, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you on my next flashback review. And speaking of which, you know, coming up with ideas for these reviews isn't easy. So after I have a snack from the fridge, maybe an idea will come to me. I think I just got an idea.